I've been ungrateful for much of my life I was in faithful for all this time I feel ashamed, Lord, for the things I've done since I've been for Citation by three Hafizas um, and in fact their sisters um, Then we'll have, we'll, we'll love to hear from um, Usman Mahmoud, brother, he's always with us and he will actually enlighten us with the importance of volunteering. A um, little bit presentation from um, our three Hafizas. Um, and I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say anything now because I wanna keep it um, surprise. So finally, um, we'll appreciate our volunteers who actually worked really hard during this COVID time. Um, our summertime, they did not waste their time with other stuff like wasting time in front of the technology or anything. They actually utilized their time um, and effort for um, helping others, reaching others and helping them to develop. So um, by saying that, we can start our um, program by recitation um, of Holy Quran, I would request Hafsa, Hamna, and Nabiha to come forward and recite from Holy Quran. <laughs> فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ وَاشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الدين عند الله الإسلام وما اختلف الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا إلا من بعد ما جاءهم العلم بغيا بينهم وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ سَرِيعُ الْحِسَابِ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحن أولياؤكم نحن أولياؤكم في الحياة الدنيا في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي ما تشتهي أنفسكم أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزلا من غفور رحيم ومن أحسن قولا قولا ممن دعا إلى الله ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين سرق الله العظيم yeah, it was actually hard for them to like recite from Holy Quran with the masks on because like breathing and taking the oxygen in is um, hard with the mask. Um, now we will be hearing from Brother Usman Mahmoud and I am pretty sure all of us we know him because he's here every single year supporting us. He's a lawyer um, he, um, at CPM Law Firm and also he uh, is involved with a lot of community support programs 
um, and uh, he will be like he is happy to be by us all the time. I would request Brother Mahmoud um, to come forward. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, my brother and sister. Thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this excellent event once again. Um, we've known this family, Kaniz Appa and her family, we've known them for a very long time. Uh, the volunteer work that they do is exemplary. Us by going out there and doing a lip service that we're Muslims is not going to do enough. We have to show to our volunteer work that we belong to a religion that encourages uh, uh, to help out other people uh, in, in the cause of Allah. Um, so that definitely pleases Allah Ta'ala as well. So uh, thank you very much once again for inviting me over. I, I see uh, Saima Jamal coming in. So when Saima is around, it's not very easy to be on the stage. Uh, she, mashallah, does a lot of volunteer work and I think more time should be given to her so that she can shed some light on uh, volunteerism in Canada. Uh, we're lucky to be in Canada. So let's take full advantage of it and help out the community as much as we can. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Usman. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Sorry for being late. Um, I'll leave my comments for the end. I'm just here to kind of uh, guide you guys through the event. I again want to thank uh, Munir and Kaniz and all their friends to host this year after year. It's become something that we all look forward to. And it's something that really, you know, it wasn't happening in, usually in July, August as they were ho usually hosted. And I was like getting very you know, looking forward to it, getting impatient, and they kept on canceling it and then rescheduling it and then rescheduling it again. Alhamdulillah, it's now finally here. So again, um, you know, Usman, thank you for coming and saying a few words about volunteering. And as, as much as I know these two, every single one of their friends and people that are here, I know you guys are amazing volunteers. Even if you're not volunteers, you're amazing people. You're giving people, you're good Muslims, you're, you're a, an example for the rest of the community. And I really appreciate that you guys, the hostess, come together and attend it year after year. It's a new year, it's a new kind of life we're living now, and we're in the middle of a pandemic. And to even come together and have that uh, courage to come together in the middle of a pandemic, I commend you guys for that. I commend Kaniz uh, uh, and, and, and Munir for hosting it again. So let's now invite, um, there's a speech by Dr. Kipriya, he's a professor on UFC. Is he here right now, Dr. Yes. Kipriya? Yeah, so he's our next speaker, and then after that, we will have a presentation by Sarika Hot, also about her volunteering experiences. Hello. So, uh, I'm not sure if you know me, but uh, so I am uh, teaching in the University of Calgary. I'm an assistant professor in chemical and petroleum engineering. So, um, first of all, I'd like to uh, uh, thank Muni uh, Bhai for inviting me for such a good opportunity to talk to the people here, uh, especially the youth. Uh, I, I heard a lot of good things about you, uh, the work that you, you have been doing. So, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you for, for the, all the good work that you have been doing for the community. So, what I would say is basically these volunteering opportunities and all these things are basically something you are giving back to your community, right? So, while driving here, I was talking to my wife about how beautiful life we are living here, right? So, we are probably the top 2% people in the in the world who are having good food good time with our families and friends right how many people in this world are getting this such opportunity right so we are blessed to have this luxurious life here so then what should i do for that what should i do what should i get back to our community so this is a great opportunity so if you can if you can take your time and think about your how can i get back to my community right so the volunteering is such a, such a good that. opportunity for you to show your leadership to show to show how you can help how you can build this community right so the, 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 don't think that this is just like kind of i am um, going to um, you can hang out the same time right but you are taking this time and utilizing this time and trying to get back to your community this, this is very important for wherever you go if you go to the university 
in in some of the applications we look at like almost 30% to 40% of the the your excellence that comes from your volunteering or leadership opportunities so volunteering is all about your leadership which is above and beyond what you do in your your what your peers are doing right so maybe your peers are just hanging out with their friends and families but you are taking that time and helping out your to and get back to your community right so this is very precious i would say just don't uh, don't think that you are just uh, doing something normal this is this is a leadership that you you will be you will be basically building um, on your daily basis right so think that this is a great opportunity and because you you have this luxurious life and if you just compare with anyone if you go back to your back home you see how many people are basically do not have even good food right let alone good education and other things so we have this opportunity this opportunity right and for example we are also leading one uh, charity organization which is registered in alberta it's called vivek aid foundation so what we are trying to do over the last three years we are basically um, raising funds and whenever there is a need comes we started from the rohingya people back in 2017 and since then we have been uh, trying to help back to the community and over the last three years we have done almost 50 projects and all these projects are basically helping out uh, some of the, most of the most of them were in bangladesh and some of the uh, uh, projects were done in in uh, basically in calgary so again the, uh, the the point here is that there are opportunities out there so you have to take your time don't waste your time right so this is very important wherever you go in your life don't waste your time utilize your time and you will see something will be, something will come out from that right and at the end it's all about how you can help your peers how, how do you help your community to build up right so again thank you very much and i really appreciate all the work that, that you have been doing and if you have uh, if you uh, want to volunteer in our organization which is vivek aid foundation uh, it's incorporated as well so just reach out to me i'll be happy to help and also in the university there are a lot of opportunities sometimes we ask the uh, youth to come over to our lab to just see what we are doing right so very basic science we can show you what we are doing in the university level as well so don't hesitate just contact um Muniba has my contact information or you can just uh, search my name so again if you like to get involved just reach out talk to your peers talk to the people that you know and then you will see a lot of things will come up all right thank you very much and i again uh thank uh, munir bhai for inviting me again here and i'll be happy to help out in any way that i can thank you i'm excited to visit with you everybody we would now like to invite uh, mr bari to come and say a few words Bari, he's a community member in the Bangladeshi community. If you could please come on over. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. My name is Fazlul Bari. I work for Syncrude Canada. Basically, I am stationed in Port Macquarie. But because of this pandemic, I am now in town trying to get engaged myself and my children with the community program outside also with the Bangladeshi community too. Those of you who know me in the last few years, I was running some student programs called the Student Enrichment Program. It's basically students from seventh grade to all the way to the university both year. But very recent years, I had uh, some priority change in my life. So for the time being, I just uh, temporarily hold on those programs. Uh, those of you probably enjoyed that uh, program in you know, one time or second time, maybe you'll have another opportunity coming up in 2021. I just want to share a few of the words with you guys that how much fortunate all the children, including our parents here, that are living in such a wonderful country in Canada, especially in Calgary. I don't hesitate to say this is my sixth country living. And all those countries that I have been, because of my profession, this is the best, best place I can guarantee that you can experience with. A simple example is every three house in your neighborhood, at least one house you will see either mom, dad, engineer, or dad, engineer, or mom, engineer. So what happening? This is the very enriched educational background-based community that we are living in. The side of the world, 
you may be come across with some discussion completely different which might not interest to you at all so those who have seen my both children my eldest daughter i have one daughter one son my daughter she is doing masters in ryerson university she graduated in aeronautical engineering from us now she is doing her masters at the same time she is working for bombardier in toronto my son he is third year student astrophysics in western ontario in london ontario so they have been engaged with some volunteer program in calgary which actually inspired them to go in aerospace industry a lot of our parents may become some suggestion with what you're going to do what you need to get involved my suggestion is whatever you study don't just think that that is going to be your profession not necessary you are studying one subject your profession is might be completely different things so you do not need to hesitate to go outside your comfort zone to explore something new because over the period of time that your priority may get change and our parent is very open minded to accommodate that extra things that you want to show in your later time of the life so those who came from the engineering family i have seen that parents normally wants them to become an engineer not necessarily or maybe doctor not necessarily what i think that those who are going from ninth grade all the way to the university fourth year try to do something extraordinary outside what other children is doing in our community like get engaged in the government job get engaged in foreign service get engaged in military get engaged in the air force that will give you the lot of pride which we haven't seen that yet in our community we parents will support you all the way in terms of the volunteering one thing i can say every single thing count no matter you work or volunteer for one week in girls and boys foundation or one week in tela science center or even two weeks in somewhere like a stampede show band or a stampede food program whatever every single thing count when you graduate from your certain program that you will come across throughout the time that you know some more people who actually explore or give you some better idea what you're going to do in the later time of your life that might interest you too those of you who are doing volunteer please extend your helping hand to other student that you know in your community tell them the good thing that what subject you are studying and how you came to this volunteer and how you can you can engage them as well and those of the parents who still hesitate to engage their children doing some volunteer work not necessarily only you have to do bangladeshi organization volunteer there are plenty of couple of things i can say those anyone knows that there is a, a lab here in the south side of the city is called rotni observatory center anyone knows a youth someone might interest talk to our bangladeshi professor from bangladesh he may connect you with the professor dr phil angel he is the physics professor at university of calgary he run that program he run that he is the in charge of that lab it is south side of the city that's basically um, do all the research about the explore uh, you know space exploration It's like that there are other organization hidden in throughout the city that some of us might not know those are very unique i can tell you that very unique opportunity that you will get and it will take you all with the top of the ladder so i encourage all of you get involved we parents we also encourage you we extend our helping hand at the same time you guys great you guys fortunate and i know that one day you will come and he's still here please do reach out to him and write it down especially the observatory sounds very interesting to volunteer in Um now the next presentation is by Sarika Hawk. She's going to talk about my volunteering uh experience. So Sarika, right, there you are. Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Sharika and I was introduced to volunteering at about grade 8 by my grade 8 teacher. And so she's the one who really taught me what it is, the importance of it, and she was sort of a mentor for me. So since then I've explored a couple of roles when it comes to volunteering, whether that be 
um, teaching kids how to use computer programs at the library or helping the elderly during mealtime, helping other kids who are disabled at the hospital, volunteering at Global Fest, We Day, um, teaching ice skating. And the reason I'm telling you this is to show you that there's a vast array of volunteer opportunities out there. So you never have to do something that you don't like doing. If blood makes you nauseous, don't volunteer at a blood bank, right? If you really like fireworks, go volunteer at Global Fest. They're always looking for more volunteers. And I encourage you to um, explore a vast array of volunteer opportunities. Don't stick to one thing, because the more you expand your network, the more you'll know, the more you know about yourself, and the more skills you build, right? So don't stick to one thing, but try getting out there, doing more. And maybe, who knows, maybe you'll surprise yourself and find something that you didn't know about yourself. So starting out volunteering, I think what was hard for me was finding where to volunteer, what organization is trustworthy, what's reliable. And I think that's why it was so helpful to have uh, mentors like Monir Uncle and Kani Zanti who, they just email you the volunteer opportunities, right? You don't have to go out there and search for yourself, but they're sitting right there in your inbox or in your parents' inbox. And I think that's so helpful. And that's why when Monir Uncle reached out about needing volunteers to help students with their homework during the COVID-19 school closures, I thought it was such a good initiative. And I remember seeing on the news that kids are already falling behind because a lack of resources at home or you know, their parents not being able to help them with their homework. And so this is an initiative that I wanted to be a part of. And so all I had to do was email back uncle and within a week we were on Zoom helping these kids. And um, the stories you hear from them, they help you grow as well. So it's not that you're only helping them, but you're gaining skills from this experience as well, right? Whether that be tutoring or confidence or communication, whatever that be, you're gaining from these opportunities as well. You're not just giving back to the community. And I think with COVID-19 right now, you'll find a lot of volunteer opportunities online. So you're able to do these opportunities from the comfort of your own home if you're worried about going out, which is completely valid at this time. And so yeah, I encourage you to explore the opportunities out there, explore yourself and just have fun with it. Thank you. Sarka, I mean, um, she gave you an insight from a very young person's perspective, and I again want to thank her for saying, uh, giving us all the tools, and uh, Munir and Hanis for, you know, facilitating that, because mentors are so important in a young person's life, even in an older person's life, just to guide us through. So anyways, the next presentation is by Mariam Imran. Uh, Mariam, uh, where are you? There? Okay, come on over. You've got a short presentation again about your volunteering experience. Hello, assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, my name is Mariam Imran. I'm 12 in grade 8. The school I go to is FFCA uh, South Middle School, also known as Foundation for Future Chartered Academy. Uh, I started volunteering and the, the, at the age of 11. Um, I came across Miss. Mr. Munir and Mrs. Kniz, and they helped me a lot. They encouraged, they gave me confidence. I'm also a part of Girl Guide. I was a leader in my unit, and I'm still going to Girl Guide. I was a global reporter for Stampede Game and also a broadcaster for Stampede Game. And now I would like to call my brother. I'll introduce him. Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdullah Imran, and I'm 15 years old, and I go to FFCA High School, as you guys know. And I'm in grade 10. So my hobbies are basically to do coding, reading, and helping people through Youth Central. I have also did 100 plus hours worth of volunteering with Youth Central. And I'm also an air cadet with 83 Juno Beach. My rank is a sergeant, flight sergeant. Now I'm going to introduce my younger sister. Oh yeah, and my sister is going to distribute cards for my coding thing. Hi, I'm Ron. I am 11 years old and I go to FFCA South Middle School. I'm in grade 7. My hobbies are to sketch, um, do painting, cooking, baking, and I love art. Next year, I would be, I would be with you guys, uh, Sir Muni, Muni, and Mrs. Kanis. Thank you. 
whole family of brilliant community servants. So amazing to hear you guys. Um, hello? Yeah. My name is Hafsa Asim and I'm a student of grade 7. My name is Hamna Asim and I'm a grade 6 student. And I'm Nabiha Asim, grade 4 student. Today we would like to share our journey of memorizing the Holy Quran that we have accomplished during this pandemic. After the school was closed back in March, our mom suggested that we should not waste our time, but make the best of it by memorizing as much Quran as we can. We had already memorized five and six Jews in the past years. Then our mom started to calculate the amount of time needed to complete the memorization of the Holy Quran. We start memorizing two pages daily and sometimes even three pages. A few weeks later, our mom showed us a video on YouTube of Gaza City, where Hafaz are memorizing the complete Holy Quran in just two months. We got inspired by that a lot and kept increasing the number of pages daily. By the grace of Almighty Allah, we finished the memorization of 25 juz in less than four months. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, thanks to Allah the Almighty for bringing us to where we are today. We thank Allah for giving us the chance to finish memorizing the Holy Quran. We thank our grandparents and parents for all their efforts and du'as. May Allah bless them with countless blessings in this world and in the Akhirah. Amin. May Allah keep us all safe and forgive us all during this pandemic. Thank you all for listening. Jazakumullahu khayran kathiran. Thank you, ladies. You know, may Allah bless you and, you know, keep a beautiful place in Jannah for you and for the parents who have instilled such beautiful ideals in them to make them memorize Quran. May those parents also have a beautiful place in Jannah for them. So with that, I would now like to invite our host to come and say a few words. Um, uh, and then after that, I'll make some concluding remarks. Kaniza and Munir, please come on over. Stand with her. Thank you, Saima Apu. Um, you're always here for us, and I know that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so what we are going to do now, we are actually starting the volunteer appreciation. Um, this whole program is, um, uh, is um, the, the reason for this whole program is to honor our volunteers here. Uh, before going to that, I just want to announce one thing, that we had made a stage inside to honor our three Hafizas. And if you want to take pictures with three Hafizas, um, you can go inside and take pictures after, later. And um, our two other volunteers and the, their family, Nantiba Huda and Husna Huda, they actually did all the plans of decoration and everything for, for um, those three Hafizas. So that was really nice. Um, uh, I am host. We are host. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but I am actually honored um, to stand here to call on the names of some of our youth um, who actually in this summer uh, volunteered um, their time during this COVID when the whole world was struggling. They were they started focusing on the positive stuff in this negative time, which actually uh, make me really proud. Before I call our precious volunteers, I like uh, I would um, give you a good news um, that um, I already um, did that these three half is us and. One thing you do not know, maybe, that their mom is also Hafiza. So now they have four Hafizas in one house. This news obviously will fill your, yeah, it's a lighthouse. Four Hafiza, other houses also. <laughs> um, so I would like to um, call these three Hafizas for receiving their Hafiza award. And Najiba Husna and um, uh, Najiba Huda and Husna Huda will come and say a few words about um, them 
um, and we'll hand over the gift to them. I would um, like to call Najiba and Husna over here. Today, here we are celebrating all the achievements of our fellow youth. Here and my sister, here and my sister and I are to coming here to acknowledge the work of our new Hafizas. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many of us spend time either watching new shows, actually trying to complete online school, and most of all, enjoying our summers. Now, during this pandemic, these sisters and their mother worked very hard, mashallah, and achieved it by memorizing the Quran. Their mother, who also happens to be our Quran teacher, put most effort during this pandemic. Without her devotion and effort, their, her lovely daughters will be able to accomplish this. So, inshallah, let Allah bless them and let us get their gifts. And this is for Hamza. This is for Nabiha. And this is all of these the food is good then we will be all together in Jana inshallah <laughs> oh inshallah that's very nice we are really honored to have them in our program it's um it's amazing to have them with us now we uh, will be calling um the volunteers and i would like to um call sister um nadira over here so sister nadira and mr alam will be handing over the certificates and the flowers to our volunteers uh, first, I will be calling the names of um, the volunteers who um, received the certificate from City of Calgary. This summer, City of Calgary reached us, me and my husband, Mr. Alam, to support them with their online origami and online math tutoring program. We knew that it wouldn't be possible for us to run this program. So we actually reached to our youth volunteer team and as usual they were there and in one week we started both of the program and the both of the program both of the project was so successful that city of calgary actually decided to continue this project again and again um, so i am glad that our volunteers um, actually did that happen First, I would like to call Mariam Imran. Mariam, only 13 years old. I think I'm right, 13. 12, oh my goodness, even younger than I thought. So 12 years old, she needs two big fat binders to hold her all certificates and volunteer certificate in 12, and she's only 12. She was not only a volunteer by herself, but she actually coordinated other volunteers and learners successfully. We would like to uh, we would like to thank her for all her hard work, and she did uh, she achieved in this um, age. Thank you, um, Miriam. Thanks a lot. I said, and the flower. I think I will add two more things. She also teaching that. She is um, teaching some teachers in Bangladesh who can speak in English better way. So there are some uh, Arabic uh, teachers. So Mariam, her sister and brother are teaching our teachers who are in Bangladesh who teach Quran online in Japan, USA, Canada, Italy, different countries. And not only that, she also helped teaching English to other children in Bangladesh. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. And she is not actually just teaching. She also coordinates. She also involves other students, other youth to this program. I hope she'll do. She'll be very good professor or more than that. I would like to take this opportunity to explain the project he was telling so that our parents know. We are doing a project in Bangladesh that the Bangladeshi madrasa students, they actually earn really little in Bangladesh, maybe 10,000 taka, which is like one or $200 here. 
a month. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to use their skill here who are learning Quran over here from Bangladeshi background so they can learn Quran from them and, um, and at the same time the Bangla language. And the people over there, the madrasha student over there, they can earn a little bit more money. So it's helping actually each other. And Mariam was all, uh, then we realized that our madrasha teachers over there, they needed a little bit English conversation skill. And then our volunteer came forward to help them learn English conversation. And Mariam is one of coordinator over there. Thank you, Mariam. Now I'd like to call Sarika Hawk. Um, she amazed me every time with her work because she works at so many projects at a time. I, I do not know how does she do that, how does she manage her time. Um, I think with her speech, we kind of got a little bit of idea of that, but I would recommend you to go to her, talk to her, how does she juggle all the roles. She is very much hardworking. She, um, she uh, actually keeps her schedule and she's working with us long time. We never found her late for even one minute. If she says, Auntie, I will come to you eight o'clock, five minutes earlier than eight o'clock, my doorbell will ring and I would know that's Sarika. Like being busy with so many things, she is a student in university. She is working with Kumon. She is a responsible person and helping mom and brother. And then working with her all our projects. On top of that, she works with other projects too. And then she is on time for every single thing. And she is such reliable that if we give her some t some work, we would know that that would be done. We don't even worry about that. Like that part, we don't have to worry because Sarika is there. So thank you, Sarika, for being that good help for us. Um, we we wish you success in your both life. I would like to take this opportunity to explain the project he was telling so that our parents know. We are doing a project in Bangladesh that the Bangladeshi madrasha students, they actually earn really little in Bangladesh, maybe 10,000 taka, which is like one or two hundred dollars here a month. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to use their skill here who are learning Quran over here from Bangladeshi background so they can learn Quran from them and um, and at the same time the Bangla language and the people over there, the madrasha student over there, they can earn a little bit more money so it's helping actually each other. And Mariam was all, uh, then we realized that our madrasha teachers over there, they needed a little bit English conversation skill. And then our volunteer came forward to help them learn English conversation. And Mariam is one of coordinator over there. Thank you, Mariam. Now I'd like to call Sarika Hawk. Um, she amazed me every time with her work because she works at so many projects at a time. I, I do not know how does she do that, how does she manage her time. Um, I think with her speech, we kind of got a little bit of idea of that, but I would recommend you to go to her, talk to her, how does she juggle all the roles. She is very much hardworking. She, um, she uh, actually keeps her schedule and she's working with us long time. We never found her late for even one minute. If she says, Auntie, I will come to you eight o'clock, five minutes earlier than eight o'clock, my doorbell will ring and I would know that's Sarika. Like being busy with so many things, she is a student in university, she is working with Kumon, she is a responsible person and helping mom and brother and then working with her all our projects. On top of that, she works with other projects too. And then she is on time for every single thing. 
and she is such reliable that if we give her some t some work we would know that that would be done we don't even worry about that like that part we don't have to worry because sarika is there so thank you sarika for being that good help for us um we we wish you success in your both life now i would like to call najiba huda you already saw her and she, they are the one who actually came early today and decorated all our house and everything, made the plan for Hafizas. She's our most caring volunteer. In any event, she would look for younger kids and start taking care of them without even having any instruction from us. You would find her less with her friends chatting, rather more with other people who needs help. That's how caring she is. Thank you, Najiba, for being with us. And she is her daughter. <laughs> you can tell. Okay, thank you. Our thoughtful volunteer. She volunteered with us for a long time in several projects. She is very capable to keep our young participants busy either with origami or math or henna decoration. You will always find a crowd around her. She is fun to be around. Thank you, Husna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes. Great and you can you can see that dad is busy with, over there with barbecue and he's always our barbecue volunteer that's a beautiful volunteer family mom is already here everybody can see anima excels in her patience and maturity she's fun all the time she always has a sweet smile hanging at the corner of her lips doesn't matter what's going on in her life, she's always lively, brings life to our programs. Thank you, Adima, for being around us. The last but not least from City of Calgary certificate, that's Mohammed Shaharar Islam. I would like to call Shaharar to come forward. Shaharar is very much shy and quiet, kind of like me. He is a quiet worker. You won't notice he is around, but quietly he makes sure everything is done perfectly. He actually did put all the beefs in, uh, like on the stick today quietly. That much work was done by him. You can give him a job and relax. It will be done for sure. Thank you, Sharar. Now I would like to call um, other volunteers who actually helped us with MCAN education and other projects. Um, they did not have a chance to work with the city of Calgary, but they helped us with other projects a lot. So I would like to call Walija Ehsan to come forward. Walija is our intellectual think tank. She always puts her thoughtful ideas and broaden our level of thoughts. She and her little sister is a joy to be around. If you need more ideas, you know where to go. Thank you, Ali. Yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, she was actually, um, uh, did that almost top scores in the math contest. And uh, this year she is agree with me to help to help other children for other math contests. Now we'd like to call Farah Ahmed to come forward. Farah is from a family where they always go extra steps to support others in community. Being a daughter to an accountant, she takes care of our small fund for future library. And if you need any help, you can just reach to this family and the whole family will be by your side. Thank you, Farah, for helping us. Farah also our uh, junior accountant, finance manager, finance <laughs> for funny. study circle. We do one study circle, so she collect the money and uh, make some programs. Yeah, 
that's what she does. She collects every month our money and keeps the money. And Especially some people don't like her because of money. Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody likes her because she has the money. Because money has the power, um, I would like to call Hamna Asim to come forward, this time for volunteering, not for uh, <laughs> being Hafiza. Being focused and being organized are two critical skills we need to achieve. Hamna is perfect role model for others in this regard. You need to, if you need to learn how to be focused and make everything perfect, go to her. She will teach you how to be like that. Hafsa Asim. Another quiet and hard worker who will always be there when you need your support, but you will not hear a single word from her. She will work quietly. Thank you, Afsa. Now the little sister, Nabiha Asim. When Nabiha is around you, you would feel a smiling bird chirping and flying quietly around you with a sweet smile in her face. She's so nice to be around. Thank you, Nabiha. Three sisters, one more thing I need to tell you. Last two years, we are running study circle and we'll continue, inshallah. So that program, they really come one hour early and they organize because in the shoes, they take all of the shoes they put on the basement to organize it so nobody can fall down. So, and they put the notice board, they put the, all the signs. So last two years, they are doing without any, maybe, without any instructions. They, they come right away and start the work. So that is because they are also, they will be future leaders. Um, actually, I just did show them once, and then I didn't have to worry about all two years. They used to come on time earlier than everybody else, and without my notice, I, ha I just had to open the door. That's all. <laughs> and they would do everything by themselves, and that would be perfect. <laughs> Imran, and you know, I don't have to explain. Uh, he's he has his like everything on, so he's um, working and he's helping with this. So he's everywhere. He's he's a good help. Um, he's he's also helping with the conversation that I mentioned, Bangladeshi project with her sister. And if you visit his house, he will be a nice host. So if you can visit his house and enjoy his um, amazing. Um, nice um, attitude. Okay, Imran. Now there is a flower and uh, something for yes. Red card. Red card. Red card. So, but his certificate is coming from Singapore, and not only for him, some other people, because he, the organization which is running for the Quran classes, there's one brother. Yeah, that's a different organization, and we actually are not the authority to give the certificate on their behalf, so they are preparing the certificate for him. Inshallah, some other students, maybe other two students are going to get the certificate. Yeah, inshallah. I'd like to call Jawad Ahmed. Come forward, Jawad. He is um, the younger brother of Farha and part of that family I told you. It is not easy while you are only boy working with a group of girls around you. But Jawad gets mixed up with them so easily that you won't even notice there is a boy over there. And um, Jawad did not have chance to work with us this summer, but uh, we hope, uh, but he supported us with the study circle and we hope, uh, inshallah, next time we'll um, have his more and more support. Thank you, Jawad. Wamiya son. Where is Amiya? She's Walija's little sister that I mentioned earlier. She will always fill, um, um, fill up with her thoughtful comments. She did not have chance to work with us this summer, but I hope she will have, uh, she will be working with us because as I mentioned, if you need any idea, they are the thoughtful sisters. They will raise their hand and give you a lot of thoughtful ideas when you need. Thank you, Wamiya. Now I would like to honor volunteer families. 
who actually as a family always by us and um, help uh, did I miss Samir oh my goodness oh Samir sorry about that Samir is younger brother of Sarika and being a, like having a sister like that we don't have to explain anything he has the all quality um, um, his sister has but he didn't have chance to work with us this summer but uh, maybe because her sister did a lot <laughs> is that the reason uh, maybe next summer we will get more from Samir um, thank you Samir for being around us Now, as I say to the volunteer family who are around us and helping us. Uh, Imran family. Brother Imran and the whole family. And you can just look around. Sister is working over there. Amna is working there. Um, and um, the uh, Abdullah was working here. Sisters are like running around and asking me 10 times, Auntie, what do you need help with? So I would like to call this whole family, come over here, and Abdullah is busy, so he won't be able to come, maybe. Um, that's how helpful they are. The whole family loves to volunteer, help everybody around. I would like to thank them for all the supports they brought to this barbecue and other programs. Thank you very much. Next comes Ronnie Bai and his family. Fuleshuri, I was busy with a study, but this family was always by our side. In study circle, we knew that if Ronnie Bai comes, he will bring something for all our kids. We didn't have to worry about food. And Appa will be doing something for us all the time. So they're like go-to person anytime we need some help. Yeah, flower. <laughs> Thank you. Then comes Ihsan family. Appa is not here because Appa is busy with something else. But the whole family always helps us. And if you remember, the, every time the barbecue happens, they are over here. So we may, we 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 are missed. We miss Appa today, but inshallah next time. Thank you, Ihsan family, for helping us all the time. Now I would like to call Ahmed family, um, Reis Ahmed, yeah, <laughs> and this family always helps, as I mentioned, that if you need, they will always go extra steps to help you if you need any help anytime. Now I would like to um, request Sarika to bring um, her mom and brother over here. Um, uh, brother means Sarika's dad is not here. We um, we miss him, uh, but uh, but Appa, Farzana Appa, she is always helpful to us. And if she comes to the study circle and I have everything anything in the kitchen. I would see he, she would go quietly and start cleaning up. I wouldn't even notice that she did that, but she would do that quietly every time. She wouldn't leave anything on me and uh, and just leave the home. That's helpful. Like she's like a like older sister for us. Thank you very much, Appa. Now, should I call the other family? What do you, what do you guys think? <laughs> okay, before we go to the other family, I would like to call Asim family, brother and um, the whole family to come. This time for sis, mainly we are respecting this family for sister. And if you do not know, she is a great cook. And sometimes she would like send food to our house with so nice decoration even my straw will be pink color
color and my husband's straw hat will be blue color they don't even forget that the whole family helps us all the time finally should we call huda family <laughs> So now Huda family and Huda why you can you can see he doesn't even like know what is happening he's that much helpful he would come and start his work and work and work and work until it's done Huda why can you please come now at least for one minute that's helpful they are like every time we have a barbecue if he's around we we don't like worry at all he will text on him the whole responsibility and he would do that perfectly thank you very much huda bhai and um the uh, daughters should be around where is the other one younger one um husna where are you um is alima around no i think she is she's with alima Okay, inshallah. Husna, can you hear me? Okay. Um, I think Husna is with her um, friend. So, <laughs> sister just took her flower by herself. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I... call Bari Bai and Babi to come forward. Bari Bai is like our um, brother and um, we always depend on him. He would give us a lot of ideas how to do this and that and how to do the community work all the time. And Babi is there for loving and caring. Um, so thank you very much Bari Bai and Babi for around for being around us. Thank you. Okay, now I would like to um, call Saima Jamal to come forward. She's the one who actually inspired us to do the volunteer work. We came to Calgary and we started seeing her Facebook posts. She's everywhere. Any community, it's not just Bangladeshi community, any community in this Calgary needs help. Any family needs furniture any kid needs computer you would see her post and she will be making sure that they get those things even food and every what not i cannot mention everything so that's how we got inspired from saima Apu. and she always tells us more and more bangladeshi should come forward and get involved with the community work so we are really fortunate to have a person like her in our community in calgary not all other cities have somebody like her so we should say alhamdulillah and make dua for her. We pray for her success in this world and next world, Saimapu. Thank you very much, Saimapu. Thank you. Thank you so much for all Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, I've been just so far listening to the achievement of the 12 year old, the, the six year old, the 10 year old. I feel so little when I hear how early you guys started. There's just a few things I will add to this, you know? Volunteering, as much as it feels good to give, when you come to the stage that I am, you realize that it is kind of a thankless job. You won't always get people appreciate you. You won't always get people just say, oh wow, you did this, you know, you did such a good job. You know, when you are a 
a fruit, a, a tree like this full of apples or a tree like that full of apples, you will get a lot of people throwing stones at you because you do a lot in the community. When you do a lot, you will get a lot of criticism. So never let a criticism make you stop doing what you are doing. That's the message I want you to take home. Don't let it dishearten you. Don't let it bring you down. You know that once people will only criticize you because you're actually doing something in the community that's actually making noise, that are actually making a difference. You could be just sitting at home watching TV or watching YouTube channel or playing games all day and not do nothing. And nobody will say anything to you. Life will just pass away. But that's not life. That's not a life to lead. You also think that does it have to be an organization that I have to join to volunteer? No, you don't. You know what? Just walking down this alley, if you see that a, a, a recycling bin or a garbage bin is, is turned upside down because the wind came so hard, just lifting that is volunteering for the community and putting it in its place is volunteering. You see all these apples and, and the trees all over town now, right? If you make a post, take pictures of this and ask those people in that house that, hey, there must be families out there that would love to pick apples, that would love to come and pick fruits, that have never had an opportunity to pick fruits in Canada and make an arrangement just to get a few families to come and pick apples so they can make some jam, some chutney, some whatever. That is volunteering. You know, it doesn't have to be very big, but it, it can be anything that you can just out of the goodness of your heart to go and do. It doesn't have to be something that you do for a reference, for a job, for getting into university. It has to come deep from inside your heart. When I work, I don't work as a volunteer because I'm looking for accolades, because I'm looking for grants, which, because I'm looking for something in return. I do it for one reason only, and that's for the sake of Allah. And because I believe in the cause. And because I know that it is going to make a difference, at least to that one person. May not change the whole world, but it will make a difference to that one person's life that I'm helping. So with that, you know, I want you all, uh, you're so young, you know, to keep on continuing. And no matter when, you, if you're falling down, you have mentors like Kaniz, like and Munir and your parents and even I am here. Anytime you want to reach out, just reach out. I love to go for coffee and sit down and talk to young people. I mean, I know you guys don't drink coffee, but still, you know, just coming in hot chocolate. Yes, there you go. So with that being said, you know, thank you so much. The barbecue looks delicious. I'm smelling it through my mask. So let's now go and enjoy the food. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, just we um, this we will start our barbecue soon. We just have one more person to come forward. That's um, Dr. Kibria and his family. We would like to thank them, if, uh, though they did not volunteer with us, but he has a really good organization that are volunteering for Bangladeshi people, especially the Rohingya. Um, people and Salma Apu and Dr. Kibria, I think you need to be connected because Salma Apu organizes all the um, programs in Calgary for Rohingya um, people. We just had one last month in city of Calgary, so that might help you. So, um, Dr. Kibria, please come for. Oh, we have one more guest. We are so proud to have him. Yeah, Dr. Kibria, where is Bobby? Um, Again, uh, again, I'd like to thank everyone, uh, and of course, uh, uh, thanks to Moni Bhai for inviting me for this great opportunity to talk to you people. And um, I, yeah, thank you. So I'll be looking forward to uh, any such opportunity in near future. And if there is anything uh, uh, I can help uh, for the youth. Uh, to create opportunities for the youth, uh, to create any volunteering opportunities for the youth, I'll be happy to do so. So feel free to reach out. And 
um, there are a lot of opportunities happening in the university. So from university side, if there is anything I can do, and I know there are a lot of things going on in the university where we try to create some uh, kind of uh, youth program for uh, to kind of show uh, what kind of research we do in, our, in the university. So just to give you some glimpse of what kind of things we are doing. So these are some of the opportunities uh, you can take part. And um, so from my, at least as a role, as a uh, faculty there, I can support uh, those kind of activities. So for example, if you uh, kind of a group of people want to come uh, visit the lab and help out, so those kind of things I can easily do, right? So again, I look for opportunities. And from, from the university side, if there is anything I can create and, and initiate, I'll be happy to do so. And thank you very much again for this great opportunity to talk to you all. And as alaikum. Thank you. Okay, now I have to say in Bengali, shesh huyao huilo na shesh. That means... <laughs> now we have a special guest among us. Zubair Bhai, you, I, I'm pretty sure all of us, we know him. I would like to um, request Zubair Bhai to come forward and say a few words and he will introduce himself because I guess everybody knows him. He's, a, he's an amazing community work um, for our community, Zubair Bhai. Super volunteer. Super volunteer. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, sorry. Uh, thank you for inviting me. And I, I was a little bit late as because we have a MCC program. I just finished it and come here. And I know that today's event about the uh, volunteer appreciation. And uh, especially this group of people are the especially uh, like uh, Monir Bhai. Uh, you guys are doing an amazing job in the community. Alhamdulillah. Uh, this type of program, especially for me, uh, I love those, this type of program, especially to the where we are saying uh, volunteer appreciation. Uh, I myself uh, think always myself, uh, uh, think myself if I can contribute anything, and uh, as a volunteer, that's, uh, that's I think that's my best, uh, uh, like, uh, anyway. So, I appreciate myself to be a volunteer in any circumstances, in any situations. And uh, I know we have in our community a lot of leaders uh, uh, we always see. And But one thing I can tell you, like, uh, to be a good leader, if you are not a good volunteer, you never be a good leader. So volunteer is, is something the very base uh, in, uh, starting and every leader should have a volunteer's mentality and do something, alhamdulillah. And um, again, I don't have much to say. I probably miss a few uh, uh, speeches, especially I'm looking Saima here. I always love his, her speech. I definitely missed and all others as well. Uh, I, I really uh, congratulate all of you uh, young kids uh, when what you did in the time of this uh, uh, like COVID-19 is a very much uh, uh, devastating situation and many of us do not even sit, especially I saw Saima and many others come forward, especially Moriba, you did many of virtually as well. I saw some of the people from Saskatoon and they also, Saskatoon, they also joined with us. So inshallah, uh, we'll keep doing these things uh, in near future. I again, thank you so much. And uh, should I do this? I, I have a little surprise here uh, before I come. Actually, like this is much, uh, this is very much related to this event. And I know uh, those volunteers. I, I'm looking some of the certificates in your hands. And as I saw, I start beginning like if you are yourself not a volunteer, you never be a good leader. And and we expect you are getting the certificate from the people who organize this they should be the volunteer at first they should have that uh, uh, that mentality uh, that things in there uh, and uh, this is why the surprise is this i have uh, mr monir is always with us especially with uh, akram juma and all our events 
and last uh, in in Ramadan, uh, it was a very tough Ramadan for us. So we did a, um, every year we do from the Bangladeshi community, especially we do a, a iftar arrangement in Akram Juma. Many of our sister and so like uh, sister is here, raised by his wife. Uh, she also do a volunteer over there. So. This time we requested our community people to come forward and we distributed 500 people in their home. Most of the people are vulnerable and Saima and many others joined with us, especially Monirbhai also joined with us. And we appreciated those people came in the time of COVID and uh, delivered the food to the people's house. So I have uh, one, uh, we, we distributed most of our award. Uh, it was a volunteer appreciation award, but uh, I invited Monirbhai, he, he did not go there that day probably he has other uh, like program or something. So I brought his uh, appreciation award and I want to on this event I want to give it to the as it is very much related I think that this is the, the best time to give him this award from uh, Akram Kuma, inshallah. I want a certificate too. <laughs> Would you like to show you a certificate? <laughs> Thank you. Now, now, you volunteer is getting something now. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will not take any more time, inshallah. Uh, uh, may Allah bless all of you guys. May Allah uh, give us the fit to do the uh, like best work as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam shows us, inshallah. Thank you so much. I would like to give the flower to brother to give it to sister because sister gave us, give him time. That's why he's working everywhere. Now. Right. Thank you so much. That is the most important thing. Yes. Thank you, Johar Bhai, for making time for us. Um, now we are going to enjoy our barbecue. I can smile just in the air. Um, so please. Oh, sure. Now, us as youth always have to appreciate uh, Ms. Fatima and Mr. Munir. So here we are as the youth appreciating her by giving her the floor. Okay, so boys, can you that'll be very good picture. Yeah, yeah, turn around. Everybody turn to the camera. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That is the World Cup volunteer team. That's a World Cup, everybody wants to come Thank you. That will be very good. More than World Cup, Thank you. 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 Thank I've been ungrateful for much of my life I was unfaithful for all this time I feel ashamed, Lord, for the things I've done Since I've been falling all this time Cause I haven't had peace in so long and I couldn't seem to go on But now I can feel it through you And I will never and ever forsake anything And I'll follow this path back to you My weight, Lord, left from your side When chasing this world didn't guard my eyes I've been afraid for 
The things I've done, so now I'm calling you this time Cause oh Allah, on this journey I come running to you Oh please put my heart at ease, oh 